Hey there, good people. Good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you're doing good and staying safe if you're especially in Bangladesh. So, I am back. Uh, yesterday, I actually started uh, uploading and I'm trying because I've lost about seven days. During this time, there was no internet in Bangladesh. Everything was shut down. Uh, you must be uh, seeing this in the international media. If you open, you'll see BBC, Al Jazeera, CNN. They're all updating. You can also see uh, the happenings in Bangladesh current time. It's a very difficult time. So we are still trying to survive. I'm trying to, this is my work basically. So I'm going to try to do videos, which I feel, you know, uh, maybe I can get some views. I can do some, you know, uh, like generate some ads and all that. So if you feel these videos are not for you, you can skip it. I will not mind at all. But if possible, give me some time and uh, maybe, <laughs> I don't know, uh, help us, you know, like this, obviously this is in a way I'm saying help us all whoever is creating content give them maybe a little bit of time of your precious time that will help them a lot okay and this also videos are good for people who like list so i have six fragrances here uh, i've picked up six of these from different type of genre different brands and different type means like some freshies some sweet some spicy and some inexpensive some expensive some designer some niche uh, I don't think I have any niche. I have Middle Eastern and designers. So this fragrance, I reviewed them all. You can check out my full review. I usually write down the names of the fragrances. You can check them in the description box. Okay. And if possible, join our group Fraccom Bangladesh. I always put the links below. That's where we do our discussion and updates. So for now, our net is still here and our Facebook is somewhat running, but not really everything is not fully open. So yeah, keep us in your prayers. So I'll do one more video. I'll describe what's happening here. So first fragrance I'm going to do uh, show you today uh, this fragrance i um praised it so highly when i got it i give it 10 out of 10 without any hesitation because i loved it so much and this fragrance is clone of something i forgot the original one but this is called care pistachio and this is from paris corner and the origin is uh, middle eastern countries but i think the owner is indian okay so i think this is mohit katri's uh, house and he has uh, they have made quite a few of these this orange bottle and they also have some other gourmands which are very very lovely and some other houses also are making great fragrances so this is one of the ones that i really really like because it smells like pistachios very playful very amazing amazing fragrance this one has sweetness it has great performance it has uh, unisex vibes but i wear it and it gives me so much pleasure it just projects a lot you know if it's a little bit breezy it's a perfect wear for any time of the year great fragrance if you like gourmand fragrances and if you like the note of pistachio definitely give it a try it is like kind of like a velvety dry down it, it stays on you like uh, velvet okay beautiful fragrance care pistachio i want the unique ones and this fragrance basically don't have that many like like alike fragrances like not much clone of these or not that many fragrances that smell like these okay that's the idea second one i'm going to show you i always show underrated one this is the underrated one discontinued line and this fragrance line i think is a call rainbow collection from this uh, house of mugler but they taken down i think seven or eight total so the popular one was Mugler Cologne, uh, but it's now coming into this kind of packaging and they changed the name like come with me or something. I forgot the name. So this one I'm going to show is called Fly Away. So this I got uh, basically the recommendation was by Rope So It, Mark. And I saw his review. Absolutely. I always blind buy. I always blind trust him because he is the nose. He is the ultimate guy. Um, he usually does not really approve that much of designers because most of the things fall flat to him because he has a very seasoned nose. But when I saw him talking about pure grapefruit, like authentic grapefruit with that nice little other notes, that herbal note, if you know the green leaf, you know, um, I was very interested because grapefruit is something that is very different than other citruses. And sometimes they are like very synthetic designer and sometimes they make it authentic. And their fragrance, I would say Dolce & Gabbana, light blue forever, light blue, uh, what's the other one? Light blue, I forgot the name. There are two of them. They had really good grapefruit and this is better than them honestly speaking i really like the grapefruit in it it smells just like the color of the juice and this fragrance it's also long lasting for summer i wear this it has this smoky uh that other note if you just see i'll write down the name you can see there's a a note leafy note that gives this fragrance a very different character and it's a very different goes a little bit dark okay it's not all that fresh in the dry down i really enjoy this definitely give it a try and i'm really happy i have this before it's totally gone from market fly away mugler cologne by theory mugler or mugler the third and the last one from the fresh side is this one is also discontinued but uniqueness wise i had don't have anything like this this is colazaro purum wild mint story with this fragrance is i used to have this the whole line before i reviewed the ginger one then the naughty leather amber and i think there was uh, 
four or five total okay i reviewed them all this one and the naughty leather were my favorite the blue juice so wild mint i really enjoyed it then i sold it off or finished it i never bought it because i feel like oh it's in the market it's in the affordable side 40 45 dollars and i was like mm, it's okay i can find it anytime but it got discontinued and then it became expensive 85 to 100 something dollars and that is the price of this azaro perfume so it is all up to you what you're going to uh, buy and what you're not going to buy it's a customer decision but maybe in your area like europe or states it's still available and affordable so i would say ideal price for this would be 45 to 55 bucks it's a really nice playful mint and i can connect it with only one other fragrance which is not exactly same like this but similar family called crypto mint by theory mugler so they are kind of in the same playful sweet minty note and if you like mint sweet mint this is one of the best and beautiful fragrance just like the first one pistachio okay so this is very very nice and unique perfume azaro purum wild mint so now last three or first three okay number three is a fragrance nobody cared for when it was abundance you know in abundance everywhere you could find this for easily 65 65 bucks now it's discontinued now it's going 150 200 dollars this is called versace purum oud noir okay versace oud noir this is one of the most beautiful looking bottles from this house and this line i absolutely find this one of the best fragrances ever made ever uh made by designer niche overall so i put this in the same family with yslm7 oud absolute or uh, tom ford oud wood or maybe a Chris Royal Wood, but Chris Royal Wood is higher class, okay? But this is amazing fragrance. This one has this nice peppery, uh, spicy, woody tone to it and a little bit of a citrus in the opening, but it's a very masculine, spicy scent. I really love the spice in this and then the woodiness. It's not oud. It is like a spicy woody, just like Chris Royal Wood. Man, this fragrance is amazing masculine perfume. This one, if you never had, definitely give it a try number two is a fragrance i think i need a backup bottle because soon i have to get it this is one of my most favorite perfumes in recent times called brioni edp intense i think that's the name yeah so this is the fragrance i blind bought seeing some reviews and i fell in love with it there's just nothing else i can say like this is the most unique fragrance at this current moment in the new uh releases and stuff it's not the brand new release but brioni Pur perfume purum amazing amazing fragrance i mean no not perfume purum brioni edp intense I write down the name don't worry sometimes i forget the name because it's not written on the bottle so it comes with also nice little magnetic cap okay and is niche quality this is on the most lovable uh, niche quality designer juice in an affordable price range get a backup bottle if you really like it okay brioni edp intense so the last one i'm going to show you is a fragrance um, i always loved it it's a fragrance like just like the pistachio one if you like pistachio you if you like this gourmand types uh, this is kind of like a cardamom pistachio sort of like a kulfi okay note and it's sweet if you like uh, lanui de lom mixed with the kulfi note that's what you get tom ford noir extreme so i got 150 ml bottle because my older bottle finished i had a vintage version that was dark in juice and this is also getting mature it does not have that performance of the previous one that one is to last on me like 17 hours <laughs> in bangladesh even after shower you don't leave this thing easily lasts over eight to ten hours which is not bad at all so tom ford's quality man tom ford is one of the best you know when it comes to uh, fragrance houses and i really consider their fragrance house not as designer it's a niche quality so it's a very playful sexy perfume and maybe there are some fragrances smell like it but i think still this fragrance stands very tall in fragrance game so definitely give it a try tom ford noir extreme so this is the last one out of the six and do let me know how you feel about these fragrances and how many do you own and maybe if I if you have any suggestion, you can give it to me. I can check them out. Have a nice day and stay safe. Bye bye.